Hey guys, it's Dobby here, and I'm back at you with another video. So today we're going to be doing this bandana jacket with some really cool pockets on the front. So grab some bandanas and a zipper, and let's go. All right, so here you see that I have a separating zipper, and I have some bandanas, seven to be specific. And I got these from my local beauty supply store. So here I am just opening them up, laying them flat because I am going to be sewing two together on one side seam. You're going to notice that I didn't sew mine all the way to the edge. I actually sewed mine closer to the design here because I like the continuous effect. But you can definitely sew yours closer to the edge if you like. Next, I'm just taking a standard size t-shirt and folding it in half. I'm using a size large t-shirt here, and I'm just lining it up with that seam that I just placed on the two bandanas. So that's why mine isn't all the way on the edge, it's starting at that seam that I placed. And I'm just laying it flat here, being sure that I'm including the collar and the shoulder pieces of the bandana at the top, because you're going to see once I pull this up all the way, it's missing a few inches on the bottom for the bandana. Or to match up with the shirt so just grab a additional bandana number three fold it in half and cut all the way across now you're going to take those two put them right sides together and you're going to do a side seam down one side you're going to see that I'm going to place mine similar to closer to the design like the top part but again, you can do yours closer to the edge as well. Okay, so now you see that I have one long continuous piece similar to the top, but it's half the size. So what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to place this with the larger two bandanas. So here I am just unfolding the original two pieces and just lining everything up and now I'm just going to flip right sides together again and you want to do one long continuous stitch down that um, straight raw edge right there okay now it's done you can see that I have all four pieces sewn together the large bandanas versus the half bandanas so I'm just going to go ahead and fold this in half because this is going to be my back piece for my jacket so go ahead and fold it in half right there get it nice and flat and now you go ahead and grab your t-shirt that you're using as a guide again um, whatever size you are go up a size if you normally wear medium grab a large and so on and so on so now here I'm laying it on the edge being sure to leave some room up top for the neckline and then you'll see on the bottom it hangs off just a little bit like an inch but it's nowhere near as bad as it was when I originally had two bandanas only and that's okay because we're actually going to be placing a casing about two inches at the bottom anyway so now I'm just going to go ahead and cut around this t-shirt leaving about a one inch seam allowance and let's do it Alright, check us out. So now you can see the back piece of our jacket is now ready. So go ahead and fold it in half again because we're going to use it to make the front pieces of our jacket as well. So let's go ahead and grab three more bandanas. So I have one hold one, one hold one, and then I'm going to have one that I need to cut in half. So now we got one. Fold it hot dog style again and go ahead and cut it up the middle like before. Okay, and just like the back, we're going to take only one full bandana and take only one of the half pieces, fold it onto each other, and sew down that raw edge. And you're going to repeat this two times for both pieces. And it should look something like this. So you need two of those. Alright, so now let's line everything up, grab your two half pieces, lay them right sides together, it's very important, so you don't cut them backwards. 
and try to get one edge as straight as you can and, and lined up. Then go ahead and grab the back piece of the jacket as well. And you wanna line that up with those two in a similar fashion with the straight edge. And you're basically gonna be using the back piece to cut the pattern piece for the two front flaps of the jacket. So go ahead and cut around that, leaving a one inch seam allowance as well. And this is what you should have. You've already seen the back piece, but now we have two front pieces for our jacket. Bad owl. So now you're going to go ahead and lay them down once again. Put the back piece on top. Get them straight, girl. And you can see that I'm focusing on having the curved piece of the neckline inward and then the arm pieces outward, as you'll see there. So that's where your sleeve's going to go. So lay them like that. Then place the back piece on top in the same fashion. Alright, and now you're going to sew the shoulders together on both sides and down from the arms, under the arm seam and down. And you'll have this basis of a basic jacket. It doesn't look quite like much yet, but we'll get there. Okay, so this may seem a little backwards, especially since we added the extension at the bottom. But now we need to determine the length of our jacket. So you can try your jacket on and see where it hits. And just remember you want to be adding a casing or you can have someone try it on for you. In this case, I had my husband try this on for me because I'm making this for a male. And I am going to be cutting it right at that bottom design line all the way around. So this line right here, that's where I'm going to be cutting it right there all the way around for mines so it really hit the bottom of my mannequin so here I am just cutting all that off straight across don't throw it away because we're gonna add it right back on as a casing for our elastic crazy I know so now go ahead and fold that piece hot dog style with the correct side outward the lighter side inside and then you're just gonna line it up with the edge of the jacket and stitch it right back on And now you can see down here we have a casing all the way around with an opening to slide our elastic through on both sides right there. So go ahead and grab some elastic. Okay, so I got a standard one inch elastic and I'm just wrapping it around where I want the jacket to hit. You could do so on you or whoever it's for. And you want it to be tight, but not so tight. You want to be able to fit about three fingers in the elastic comfortably. And once you find that good length, you want to go ahead and cut it. Let it rain, let it rain, yeah. Every storm followed by a birthday. Recognize love when you see it. Only you can open up your heart and say, oh. just feeding it in through the jacket um, you might want to hold the loose side because if you're feeding it in it could slide the end that doesn't have a safety pin inside the jacket and you have to start over so you just want to be mindful of that and once it comes out on the other side you can pin it in place but you're going to need to go ahead and sew it down a couple of stitches and do the same thing on the other side once you've made it all the way through Pull the elastic so it evenly distributes the fabric onto it and then at the very front where you're holding it go ahead and place a few stitches so you don't have to worry about it again. Here I'm just taking a jacket that my husband had and just was just curious. I'm lining up the front flaps just to see how off I was on the length and mine is just a few inches longer so I'm pretty satisfied with that that this jacket is long enough for a male. But now I'm just taking the sleeves from the jacket and pulling them inside out so I can see 
how the sleeve is made. So I'm going to fold that sleeve as flat as I can along the, its seams. And using the scraps I used from earlier to cut out the back piece and the two front pieces, I'm going to be using those to cut my sleeve. So I have two pieces in each set from cutting out the front and back. And I'm just going to line them on top of each other with the long edge together on both pieces. Get it nice and straight. And I'm just taking the longer part of the sleeve and lining it up with the long edge of the bandana pieces I have here on the edge. And I'm going to be also cutting around this with a one and a half seam allowance. So here I am just cutting around it soon. Get a flat girl, come on. Alright, so I'm cutting around it right here about half an inch seam allowance. And then I'm folding the jacket back onto itself so I can see the curved part of the arm that connects to the main part. And then I'm going to do the same, cut about a half an inch seam allowance around that too. And here we are. Once you finish, you'll notice your seam looks like this. But this end right here is all open not closed so you're going to take two pieces and go ahead and do a stitch all the way down but on the edge for this one to save fabric so right there so here it is with that seam sewn all the way down and if you open it up you'll see what looks like a sleeve bam bop so now we're going to fold it right back how we had it and close this sleeve up by doing a stitch all the way down right there not on the curved part but from there down and do that for both sleeves okay so go ahead and finish that and you flip it inside out and it's gonna look like a sleeve I told you you didn't trust me girl all right so go ahead and attach those to your jacket and I'm just pinning the sleeve inside the jacket before I go ahead and sew just to ensure everything lines up and it's gonna look like this bam boop Alright, so now let's focus on some pockets. Grab bandana number seven, fold it in half, cut it in half. Then you're going to make sure you're using the finished edge here. Don't cut that, you're going to need that, and you're going to cut one big half circle or one big D however you see it make sure it's big enough to fit your hand in because I actually have to do this twice because my hands are tiny and it wasn't big enough so I had to go back but do it as big as that bandana piece as you can so now these are our two pockets here and you're just if you can you can go ahead and press the curved part underneath itself but I'm just going to be doing it by hand so I place my pocket where I want it to be and you're going to see me going around pinning underneath the curved part, the raw part of the fabric and placing some pins.
so you saw it's a pocket now I have the curved part of the D all pinned with the raw part of the fabric underneath so it's not seen and I did that for both sides so here it is sewn onto the jacket two pockets bam so next you need to focus on the collar so that last piece of bandana that you have you're going to go ahead and cut a four inch wide piece and cut it as long as you can because if you're not sure what the length is just make a long continuous four inch wide piece and you're going to align that up on the neckline and sew sorry I did not show that part guys but then I also went ahead and added the zipper so BAM jacket time 